What's going on, Homestead homies? Welcome back to another exciting episode of Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. <laughs> Weather's been kind of crazy. Rain, rain, clear up for a second, rain. So I'm dodging the raindrops and I'm gonna get a few chores off my list. But I just wanted you guys to know that Stacy cheated me. She totally cheated me. And I'm gonna tell you what I mean in a second. But right now I gotta get up on here because I got a pet peeve going on. I'm gonna show you what that is. Now right now we're inside the wood shack around back it's on the back side of our outdoor kitchen now what's going on is i put a gutter up there so we can do some uh rainwater harvesting here in the future but you see that line right there that's actually light that's coming through and what happened was that gutter is not fully meeting up against that fascia board and so when it rains i get dribbles of water that come in here and it lands right on top of my wood pile what I do now is run me a bead of caulk all the way down this gutter so I can seal that off so no more water gets behind the gutter and into that wood room. So the next thing up on my list <clears throat> that I'm knocking out in between the raindrops is a handle for the chicken coop that I built here, this A-frame one. Uh, we have our fryers inside of here, those Freedom Rangers! And what happened was we were using the actual locking me mechanism as a handle to get in and out. Well, that wasn't very good. It ended up tearing off of there. So I got a handle now that I'm recycling and I'm gonna put it on there and I'm gonna fix this to where it locks and then we'll have a nice little handy dandy handle to get onto the door here so we can just use it like a door handle like you're supposed to do. <laughs> knocking down this list like dominoes. So the next up on our list, I'm gonna take you guys and show you what my other honeydew is. Oh wait, somebody's here. Stony Ridge Farmer! Yeah. You're on the big farm tour, huh? Yeah, buddy. Okay. I want you guys to notice something right off, too. Is uh, I never realized watching his videos, he's a pretty big fella. Yeah, I eat a lot. Man. A lot. So a lot. I was raised on deer I think that's a, the biggest thing I'm surprised about, is that you're a pretty big fella. Most of the time <laughs> when I meet people, they're definitely smaller than I am. So, yeah. welcome to the club. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, if you guys watch Stony Ridge Farmer, you can go check out his channel. He's so, we are on tour with the big old stupid Stony Ridge Farm van here. We are traveling the country on a tour we call Farm Stock 2018. We have a couple t-shirts for that. Come on, Vanna. Vanna's back here. Mrs. Stony Ridge is back here. She's our t-shirt model. <laughs> so we went on tour around the country here. We are on mile number 5,600 or so. You're about a yeah, thousand miles away from home for us, maybe, maybe 800 miles away. Um, traveled up to New Jersey to see some farmers in New Jersey. Went to Meyer Hatchery, see the baby chicks get hatched. Went out west to see some farmers out there, some ranchers out there, a guy in Wyoming, our Wyoming wife and you're on our way back across the country so we wow left, we made the cut yeah we left denver yesterday we kind of contacted i'm gonna say 15 or 20 people and eight or nine people responded and we're open to meeting each other so yeah we have a 200 acre farm in north carolina and we're kind of doing some of the same stuff that doug and stacy are doing here aside from the off grid so we're not off grid as of yet we're going to do some solar we're going to do some uh some awesome heating systems in the house that we're gonna build. We haven't broke ground on our house yet, so yeah. we're set up temporary for a permanent homestead. So. Cool. Uh, so we bought the farm three years ago-ish, around three years ago. We bought a 60 acre tract, then another 90 acres came for sale across the road, we bought that, and then another 40 came for sale across the road, and we bought that. Uh, it was mainly wooded. Uh, out of the 60 acres, we had about six acres of uh, uh, usable pasture land which was all grown up in briars and blackberries and little trees saplings and stuff since then we've cut timber on a hundred acres and we've taken back 70 of that hundred acres with bulldozers and excavators and 
we put grass seed down and uh, some of it took and some of it didn't. Yeah. We've had a lot of rain here lately, so um, we've got some stuff coming up soon. We'll be hiring a guy to come in with a gigantic 150 horsepower tractor to re-till the land and get back in there. We've got rocks. Stony Ridge Farm is called Stony Ridge Farm because it's rocks. It is just boulders from this big to this big to as big as a car all over the place. Yeah. So a lot of cleanup. So you have uh, chickens and goats? Yep, we got chickens. We had pigs last year. We didn't do pigs this year. Chickens, goats, we had the pigs. Um, right now we're getting another batch of baby chicks in as soon as we get back to, yep. to start processing chickens. So we're kind of... Is that beet birds or yep, egg so layers? We're, we're doing some egg layers this time and some meat birds. So we want to do a comparison to just show people how they grow, like yeah. the meat birds. So we're doing the ranger broilers from Meyer Hatchery. Uh -huh. And last time we did the uh, Cornish Cross, which right. is a really fast growing bird. Great meat bird, but we want to try something a little bit more, uh, I guess, a robust bird. Yeah. So something that could free range. So There you go. So we're going to show them around the house here. They came to check it out. If you guys want to see the video that he does, uh, visiting our place, go over to his channel, Stony Ridge Farm. Links will be down below. You can check them out. All right, I got to get back to my chores. Yeah, no doubt. Beautiful place. Ah. Don't forget, the webinar to win an All-American Sun Oven is over. It's done. October 9th, if you have not subscribed uh, to the free webinar, the link is down below. Um, there's a lot of people signing up for it, and you're going to get a lot of good information about the Sun Oven if you're not uh, familiar with uh, what a Sun Oven is. We have a whole playlist on our YouTube channel, and we cook everything in there. We dehydrate in it. It's just good for a lot of different uses on your home or homestead, on or off grid. And you never want to find yourself in an emergency and trying to figure out how you're going to cook when you could have this valuable resource right at your fingertips and all it takes is the sun so you don't even have to go gather wood or anything else no fires in your yard nothing throw that box out there cook with the sun and have a great meal for the whole family as always thanks for watching our videos we really do appreciate you guys stopping by checking out what's going on in the homestead as soon as this rain gets done we're going to ramp up some more things around here and so don't go anywhere Hit that subscribe button and make sure you ring that bell for notifications because we're about to ramp this thing up. And I'm going to tell you guys the third purpose for the off-grid bunker, but you guys are going to you're going to be like holy guacamole. It's going to be a really good build series. Hope you're looking forward to it like I am, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Leave a comment down below. What's on your honeydew list? Oh, and I know you're wondering about the title of the video, and you're like, so what's the deal with Stacy? Well, basically, she cheated me because she said if I got those pipes put back up, that I would get food. And then she turned around and went out of town till Sunday. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. You might want to check out these videos. And if you want to become a homestead homie, click the picture of us below. We, we will see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow.